I'm getting pumped for this President's Cup. Montreal, old Montreal is supposed to be sweet. Uh, old Montreal, it's a cool city, classic city. People are telling me it's kind of feels like a, um, an old, I think Pilar said it's like an older, uh, more historic feeling version of Toronto. And it feels a little bit more like a European city than Toronto. And I love Toronto. Toronto's a really fun time. Canadians, it's a very diverse city. So, uh, so I'm pretty fired up to get to, uh, to Montreal. And I think you're probably in the same boat as I am, Trent, but I'm rooting for a close, I'm USA all the way. You know, I got the shirt, I got the flag shirt on, which is one of our all time sellers, but I am rooting for a close event up here in, um, in Canada. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't want it to be a blowout. I, you know, as much as we don't want to compare it to the Ryder Cup and we never like that's not the right way to look at this. Like the Ryder Cup, I want to I don't want the Europeans to score a single point. I, I really don't want them to have any chance of right. winning. But this international team, you know, it's lower stakes. I think we can say that. I don't I think that's fine to say. And I want it to be competitive because I want to see mm -hmm. the fire from everybody. I want to see Scotty Scheffler fist pumping. I want to see Tom Kim fist pumping again. I want to see Min, Min Woo Lee out there losing his mind. Like if you have a complete blowout on either side, you're just not going to get the moments from either team. And I don't think anybody wants that. That's certainly not going to build up the allure of the, of the president's cup. And yeah, I, I want it to be close. I very much want team USA to win. I want us to continue to dominate in every respect, whether it be the Ryder cup, whether it be the president's cup, whether it not even be about golf, you know, team USA basketball. I want us to dominate every sport that's out there. But I do want it to be close. And maybe I'm getting swept up in it a little bit because I was watching the coverage too. But having guys like Min Woo Lee and Tom Kim and some of these younger guys on the team, I think that team's going to have some fire. And I hope that they can put up a good enough fight where going into Sunday singles, there's, you know, it's not like a statistical impossibility where it's like, all right, even if Team USA wins two points, they're going to win this thing. I like that that locker room on the international side's probably got a little bit of fire, a little young blood. And long story short, I want it to be competitive because that's going to bring out the best moments for both teams. Yeah, Brandel was on today, and I think they're announcing Wednesday, you know, what they, they are announcing Wednesday, what the Thursday matchups will be. So we're recording before that's been done. So people already know what those are. But Brandel kind of got me tingling a little bit earlier. He's like, he's like, I'm sort of envisioning if you're the international team, you're Mike Weir. And you lead with Hideki Matsuyama and Tom Kim and then Adam Scott and Min Woo Lee. And then that got me going, man. That got me thinking like, oh, so then you're telling me we've got those teams up against, let's say, like Scotty Scheffler, Kawa Morikawa, Max Homa, Xander Shoffley. And you're like, oh, we got something cooking here. Like that is. Let them cook, you know, and we've got <laughs> we've got a team competition. And this is you're right. It's obviously the JV uh, team competition. It's not the Ryder Cup. We have to say that every time because people it's almost like they don't want you to be able to enjoy the president's cup because it's not the Ryder Cup. And I we're know. trying to get people over the hump of that. And those those the thoughts of those matchups right out of the gate got me tingling a little bit. It got me feeling a little something. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch it regardless, uh, but I just think. I'll repeat it. It's just the young guys. That's how you build. You know, the Ryder Cup is it's it's got such a history and the Europeans have won a bunch and Team USA has won a bunch. And there's always this. The thing with Team Europe is there's that camaraderie. And we've been working at that uh, Team USA where it's like, how do we get all these superstar golfers to care to every two years for a weekend about each other and their each other's games and how to win for their country? For whatever reason, Team Europe has just had that forever. They've got better camaraderie. They don't have to force it. You know, they 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 play the right hype up clips in the locker room, all that stuff. And I think what the President's Cup needs is an identity. And an identity would be young stars on the international side because Team USA is Team USA. It's going to be juggernauts. In 20 years, it's going to be juggernauts. Whoever the top players in the world are in, team, in, in the United States, that's going to be like who they roll out there and it's going to be fine. I was looking, I was watching coverage today and they said, team the international team has one top 15 player and team usa has eight that ratio is probably going to be pretty similar similar going forward maybe it'll change in the future maybe it won't but the international team having young stars and interesting personalities that'll at least give the event something and if they say they go out there early morning the first day first day out there and they start scoring a bunch of points and the momentum heads their way who knows 
who knows what can happen. So I want that to happen. Again, I'm still Team USA all the way, but please just make it interesting. 